and next episode we're going to be digging a massive hole. A massive hole. <laughs> Well, now what? Okay, so we have a hole. We have a hole. Well, I guess I should build a villager trading hall. But what materials will I use? Some cherry wood, of course. Ooh, and some purple. Maybe for some contrast, I can use some warped wood in the floors? Yes, that will do. Okay, let me make a list and gather some materials. villager trading hall and our drop shoots about two blocks off center but I think we're actually gonna have our entrance a little bit that way we're gonna have a big uh, chest area here and then yeah this is our trading hall so I thought it would be fun to do kind of like a gradient all the way to purple from the what even is this the terracotta white terracotta cause it's kind of pink and we've got these nice blue colors with the pink, the purple, we've got the diamonds and the cyan. We did a little crisscross action. And yeah, this is our trading hall. It is pretty much complete. I mean, we need to get zombies in each of these corridors. So we're going to need 20 zombies, I think, or 50, I don't even know, a lot of zombies. So hopefully there's a zombie spawner around here. And if not, I don't know. But yeah, this is the whole thing. I mean, obviously it just keeps going. It's the same thing. And we're going to need to do a roof, which I'm hoping to get a bunch of lighting in the roof. And we may have to put some like carpets in or something for lighting here. And as far as lighting goes here, maybe just a shroom light or a glowstone or something with a cyan carpet on top. Not the best, but I mean, it's going to have to do. We don't have a ton of options. And then we're going to have to come up with walls as well. But um, yeah, I haven't designed any of that yet, but I will take you into my creative world so I can show you how this is going to be set up. All right, in my creative world now. And as you can see, we have lecterns here. So each side is 10. So 10 and then 20. So we have, we're going to have 40 librarians. So that'll cover every book that we need. Then we're gonna have the, uh, I don't remember, what are you? The smithing table sm people, the grindstone people. <laughs> I can't remember if they're tool or weapon smiths. Then we'll have the, I believe these are armorers, uh, stonemasons, we'll have cartographers, fletchers. Um, what are these guys? Oh, the shepherds, uh, leather workers, which I don't really know if they're useful for anything. Smokers, uh, fishermen, farmers, and, uh, Hello? Words! Brewing stand, guys. Lectern... Nope, not lectern. Whatever they are. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the whole thing. And I just really love this design from up above. You can really see. I was trying to go for kind of like a mermaid theme. And I think it looks pretty cool. I like it. Let me know what you guys think. We're gonna have to come up with some wall designs for each four sides. 
and a ceiling design. So I don't know if I want to go minimal or extra crazy on the ceiling as well. But here we can put librarians with a little arrow uh, pointing this way. <laughs> and then this can tell us uh, what each one offers on their trays and stuff. So I think this is going to be super helpful for us. Obviously, we're not going to get this filled up today. A little change of pace here, we're going to be working on some terraforming. I have been extremely exhausted from work lately, and just the level of exhaustion that I've experienced has kind of left me out of energy to record any videos. And I think it's because I've been chasing these big, massive projects. So moving forward until I am at a place where I can give more time to these projects, I'm going to be taking a lot smaller bites out of Minecraft. And I hope that I can make it in a way that you guys still enjoy. And after a long day of terraforming, it's time for a good night's sleep. <sighs> And we have managed to turn this into this. And I think it turned out really well. It was just this little area that I was trying to terraform and just make it a little bit more hab habit hab habitable, habit hab habitatable. <laughs> just make it more of a welcoming area. And I think we managed to do that, so I'm very happy with the outcome. We've got this lovely little path going down. We finally got a path that works in our area. And I used the jungle slabs because I thought they would meld in, meld, uh, me, fit in nicely with the pink. And I think it does. It looks really nice. And yeah, we've just got this nice slope that kind of matches up with here and here. We've got a beautiful little cliff to kind of make up for this giant drop here. And now we've got two flat areas that I don't really know what to do with. And I do believe I'm going to remove this path, kind of even this terrain out and make a new path going up to the villager breeder. Also, I moved the cows and sheep down here in this hole until I figure out what to do with them. Maybe we'll make a barn in the future. I think that would be really nice. But needless to say, this transition here has made me a lot more excited to build up this area. So I can't wait to see what we figure out in the future. But for today, you're going to look at the back of my head. <laughs> no, uh, that is going to be it for today. So I want to thank you for watching the video. And uh, if you're not subscribed, I have noticed a very alarming number of you who watch my videos are not actually subscribed. So consider hitting that subscribe button if you enjoy what I do here. Most of my content is pretty similar and consistent, so you're not going to see any weird games or any weird stuff that you don't want to see. But with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!